Well, welcome back to Avery. I realized it was almost exactly a year ago when I had to get off of the route and get around to McCall. But I'm going to have uh, breakfast of champions and then get on the route here. But it's 90-something miles to Pierce. I think it's three sections that I missed last time. We'll see where I end up today. Right now I'm just going to worry about getting to Pierce to get gas. Avery's a neat little town. Um, I ended up kind of just camped in the middle of nowhere last time, just literally on the Forest Service land. Everything's supposed to be open, so we'll see what happens, I guess. Cabin's 30 miles. I got to within, I want to say, nine miles of it last time. I was not far from it. And I ended up camped just up here around the corner. Oh, that feels good. It's like 65. Yeah. Idaho remains pretty high up on the holy crap it's gorgeous scale for the BDRs. It's one of the easiest, I would say second to easiest after mid-Atlantic, but it's top three or four in terms of beauty. Honestly, top two. It just depends on what really kind of moves you as a person. Got day two of Oregon done, so that was good. Got it uploaded too. I, the internet at St. Mary's was like super fast. I was shocked. That sucker uploaded in like 15 minutes. Oh, but okay, so what am I doing after this? So I'm gonna finish these sections of the Idaho BDR, which is the stuff that I wasn't able to do last year. And then I'm headed back to Colorado for a week or two, reset, and heading back out on this other project which I'm working on, which is I am going around and interviewing a lot of the guys that I served with about our time in the military. That's, that's the main project that I'm working on right now. And the problem with that is I can't make any videos from that until I have all of the interviews completed. And so I don't have any video content from that that I'm going to be able to share because I don't know what I'm going to have. I don't know who I'm going to be talking to exactly. The first videos from that are likely not going to be coming out until over the winter. And so, yeah, you're after this last video for Idaho, you're not going to see anything from me for a while. And then it will be a documentary series about our time in the military, which is going to be pretty intense. The Tuck stuff should start coming out around that same time, I hope. But we'll see. Don't really know what's going to happen with that yet. The Tuck project is kind of one of those ones where you, f you do the trip, you film it all, whatever, and then you kind of just have to ignore it, yet pretend like it basically didn't happen. It's going to be months before there's any kind of an edit. I have ideas for other stuff. I have one idea that's particularly crazy that I might try and talk to some folks about because I need support if I'm going to do that. The goal is to keep doing this for as long as I can. I haven't had to stop yet. We'll see what happens. You know, all I can do is kind of take it one project at a time, one day at a time, and see where I end up. Yeah. 
I definitely did not get to here. So, everything from here will be unfamiliar. Get all the luggage. Somebody's definitely in front of me. It's a lot of dust. saw me. Nothing like you have mirrors. Passing on your left. I can see you in your mirrors. Passing. Passing. Use your mirrors. Last guy was paying attention, or he was on radio. Oh, there's one more. Three miles to the blue cabin. I may not take much of a break there, because I don't want that group to pass me again. Folks, you've got to pay attention. Like, I still periodically look behind me just to make sure that I'm not holding somebody up. And on a bike, I'm going to be moving faster than most. One mile. That's a full-on U-turn, okay. Where is it? There it is. A few moments later. It's fun. It's quite a bit of fun. The side-by-sides were unfortunate. I want everyone to be able to get out here and enjoy the backcountry. You have to be respectful about it. You have to respect other people's rights to enjoy the backcountry as well. And plowing six side-by-sides at the center of the road and never looking behind you is not being respectful to other people. There you go. Welcome to Idaho, folks. It looks like that.
Here, lift the front wheel up. Lift the front wheel up. Let him out. She's out. Okay. Here, Is he okay? Yeah. I am so sorry. No worries. No, no, no. It happens. I know, but just leave that. It'll... Let's make sure he's okay. Sorry about that, yeah, man. Yeah, expect to have a dog run in front of you. Well, well, he doesn't do that, too. Over. Yeah. And I was like, okay, it should be good. And then just... Or she's like, yeah, yeah. yeah, I thought she came clear over behind me. I didn't realize she went back the other way. What can I grab here? Ready? Should still be in gear, so it probably won't roll anywhere. But... Okay. Are you all right? I'm fine. Okay, good. <laughs> it's not the worst thing I've ever done to the bike either, so. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be on YouTube. No! <laughs> <laughs> I, had two, I had two cameras going. <laughs> One pair of pants later. Holy crap. All right, well, dog's okay, I'm okay, bike's okay. Whew, that scared the f hell out of me. I literally parked this thing on top of that dog. Well, everyone, that was Izzy. She's fine. Thankfully, they were cool about it too, but like that, yeah, there was nothing I could do. Thankfully, the, the side bags and stuff made it to where it didn't lay flat. And so she just scooted out. Oh, I thought I killed somebody's dog. There's gonna be pavement, so I will probably kill the cameras and talk to you in Pierce. So I will talk to you in a little bit. Three hours later. Welcome to Pierce and the Pioneer Inn slash bunkhouse, which is really friggin' nice. I'm just getting footage downloaded, really hot outside. So I knocked off early, and it's a solid 190 miles to Derby tomorrow. So that will be the plan for tomorrow. Hell of a day. <laughs> Hit a damn dog. Cannot believe that. So just getting settled in. I'll go and get dinner and stuff at some point later. I won't get gas until the morning when it's nice and cool. And 190 miles to Derby. So I'm gonna let this finish downloading and talk to you later.